What's up, pups? How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So this video is very late. I'm very late to this party, but I'm just getting around to it. I wanted to talk about the new Jurassic World movie. Anyway, I wanted to briefly touch on uh, the fact that I loved this movie. It's fantastic. However, uh, I found some things that were kind of like eh, weird about it. So I wanted to talk to you guys about those and some Easter eggs that I found which I thought was kind of cool. And you guys probably found them too, but whatever. Spoilers galore! If you have not seen Jurassic World, which that's weird because it's been out for like months, <laughs> but if you haven't seen Jurassic World yet, please don't watch this video. Click away. You have been warned. Spoilers everywhere. As River Song would say, spoilers, dear. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. In your face, spoilers. How many times can I say it? Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Click away. Okay, you've been warned. Now we're gonna go. So. Zara's death. I was reading a lot of articles with people who have issues with the way that Zara was killed and I don't really have an issue with it. I get that like a lot of people were floored by it because they were like, oh she didn't deserve to die that way, but here's the thing, it's a dinosaur movie. They're animals, like they are like monster animals and you have to realize that they're not gonna know one person from another, they're just gonna go after whoever. There's a ton of people running around, she happened to be one of the unlucky ones that were picked up and they just felt like it would be interesting to show you the process of how anyone could die. I don't think it was necessarily supposed to be like a blow at Zara. I just don't see why people are so upset about it because it could have been anybody. They just picked someone that yeah we we happen to see their character but what if it had been like a random person on the street running and they still decided to follow through with like their death scene like I just, I, I don't see the big deal in it because like I said, dinosaurs aren't gonna say, I'm gonna pick that person because they seem like a shitty person. Like, they just pick someone because they're dinosaurs and they do that. That is what they do. Bryce Dallas Howard's car raptor scene when the raptor comes through the window. I'm sorry. Like that just, that felt to me like she was not trying hard enough because I would be deathly afraid if a raptor came through my window. What was that? That was weird. That was like a weird scene. I was like, you, it just didn't feel real to me. Like I felt she was like, ah, and I'm like, that's a raptor in your window. Like girl, girl, please. That is a raptor in your window. Like he just came through. That I felt like could have been done a lot better. Like I just, it didn't feel real to me. That was weird. I had a little bit of a problem with that. That big ending fight though, like what was that? Like I felt like we were witnessing like a King Kong versus Godzilla type fight. Like that was weird. And with the Mosasaur, like what? What was that? He just was like, hey guys, I'm still here. <laughs> like what? <laughs> that was weird. Am I the only one who thinks that was weird? It was weird. I felt like that ending fight was just uh, like for those who really enjoyed the first movie and really enjoyed the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So they were like, all right, fight. I just felt like the ending was way too overplayed and they brought the T-Rex back to be like, I'm the queen of the castle, get out of here. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then I noticed too that a lot of people were having issues with the product placement in the video, but here's the thing. It's a theme park. Like, they tell you it's a theme park and theme parks have a ton of product placement. Like, if you go to Universal or Disney, you will see product placement everywhere. So it makes sense to me. I get it. Like, it was probably way too overdone in the movie, but I think they were just trying to make it as realistic as possible. Also trying to fund all of the special effects <laughs> that they clearly used in the ending scene. Also, did anyone else find the motorcycle scene when, like, Chris Pratt is driving with the raptors through the forest? Like, the raptors are, like, dodging branches and jumping over, like, logs and stuff and, like, avoiding bushes, and Chris Pratt's just, like, riding smoothly through the forest. Like, he found the one trail. Like, I was like, what? These raptors are bounding everywhere. And he's just like, I'm right here. I had a huge problem with the high heels because I get they were trying to make Bryce Dallas Howard, like, feminine, but awesome and badass. But let's be real. You can't run in high heels through wet grass. Like, you will sink. You will break your ankle. Like, it's not feasible. Okay, so those are pretty much just the main issues that I had with the movie. Other than that, I really, really enjoyed it. And some of the things that I found that I thought were really cool, and I don't know if any of you guys caught them, were some Easter eggs, paying homage to the original Jurassic Park. So the first thing that I noticed was the Jurassic Park Jeeps and the Welcome Center. That was a blatant Easter egg from the first movie, and I really thought that was really cool. It was kind of strange that the trucks were just easily started. Like, they were able to jumpstart them 
time. Like, that was a little bit weird to me, because I feel like if they're sitting in a forest for multiple years, they shouldn't be able to start that easily. But I thought it was really cool nonetheless. There was also a scene where Claire rolls up her sleeves and ties the front of her shirt, just like Dr. Ellie Sattler from the first movie, and I thought that was really interesting. Um, she was kind of standing in the same way that uh, Dr. Ellie did in the first movie, too. So that was, that was a nice little uh, Easter egg. There's also a scene where we see the God Creates Dinosaurs by Dr. Ian Malcolm. That was a blatant Easter egg, because Ian Malcolm, obviously, was one of the characters from the main movie. I found it funny, too, that, like, um, I forget his name right now, but the guy, um, one of the main guys that was working inside of the, uh, like, the, the room, the, I don't know, whatever that room was, and he was like, yeah, I bought this Jurassic Park shirt for $150 on eBay, and then, like, when they find the old Welcome Center, there's just Jurassic Park shirts, like, hanging. Like, I, I thought that was kind of funny. Winston's Steakhouse was a tribute to Stan Winston, who was one of the original creators of the animatronics for the dinosaurs from the first movie. And then we also saw Mr. DNA, which was super fun. There was a John Hammond statue in the middle of the new Welcome Center. We also learned that the Tyrannosaurus Rex still loves goats and flares. And and, fun fact, that Tyrannosaurus Rex was the same one from the original Jurassic Park. At the end scene, when you see her standing above the park looking out, you can see her new scars from her battle with the Indominus Rex, and you see her old scars that have healed from the original fight with the raptors. So in the scene where the Pteranodons and the Dimorphodons are attacking the people, it was kind of paying homage to the scene from Birds, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's movie. Also, the shot of the bird's claw foot in the beginning of the movie references Alan Grant's explanation that birds somehow descended from dinosaurs in the first movie. Henry Wu is back and seemingly much more mad scientist-y than the first movie. And something else that was kind of interesting is when uh, the, the Claire's nephew's mom says, make sure you push the green button to answer your phone. And in the first Jurassic Park, push the green button was the way that you turn the power off for Jurassic Park. I know I'm not going to pronounce this dinosaur right, but the Gallimimus <laughs> scene where all of those dinosaurs are galloping through the field, they shot that at the same angle that they shot the original Alan Grant and the kids running from those dinosaurs, or running through the dinosaurs, I should say. But um, when they were in that cylindrical ball, they shot that at the same angle and the same like shot from the original movie, which I thought was kind of cool. There was a blatant Jaws reference with the Mosasaurus eating a shark, and also, it kind of also mirrors the Jaws, we're gonna need a bigger boat with we need more teeth. Jurassic World seems to make light of a bigger issue that's occurring in Hollywood. It was a reference to make Jurassic World as a bigger, better, scarier, more intense version to attract more visitors to the park. People always seem to want more, and in some way, this movie is a testament to that. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Jimmy Buffett was in the movie. He was the guy that when the flying dinosaurs started attacking, was at Margaritaville and grabbed the two margaritas to run away. That was actually Jimmy Buffett. What? Yeah, that was him. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And one of my favorite Easter eggs from the movie was the chaos theory. Ian Malcolm explains this to Dr. Ellie Sattler in the original movie, using two drops of water as an example, hitting your wrist and rolling away in different directions. In Jurassic World, the Indominus Rex's blood falls onto the commander and rolls away in two different directions. Anyway, that's all the Easter eggs that I caught for this movie. If you found any more, please leave them in a comment down below, and also leave a comment if you had any problems with the movie. Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys may have found that maybe I missed. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below, and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I will see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trouts.